I'm live. What's up? I'm Adam Federico and welcome to Federico Advanced. Uh, coming at you every first and second Thursday out of the house first of... First and third. First and third. Thanks, Josh. First and third Thursday of every month from the house of Federico and uh, Josh, Joshua Flowers, Josh XO is takes you through uh, weapon of choice on the second and fourth Thursdays and the fifth Thursday, pint night. We've yet to do pint night. I just keep putting it out there because it's gonna happen. I don't even know what that's about. Pint night? Yeah. Is it need that? That's it. We're gonna say here. We're gonna, it's gonna be like beer connoisseur night. Gonna, this is my new hoptologist IPA with 102 IBUs and yeah. Anyway, um, so anywho, but before I begin, I gotta bring a wonderful gentleman up. Please step forward, DC. DC. Sir. Always. DC is uh, one of our main barber educators here at Federico. You may have seen his uh, handsome face a couple of weeks ago as Josh and DC covered me on Federico Live while I was uh, out of town. So obviously we all know, you know, just the whole resurgence of barbering and to some it's never left. It's always been there and always been part of them. And we, you know, we want to bring more barbering to you. So with that, we're going to present to you coming this evening Every Tuesday evening here on Federico Advanced, you can see Federico Barber Night Live, hosted by this gentleman from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I'm gonna let DC just kind of share a little bit about what you may experience. I'm excited. Um, I think we're gonna have, we're gonna raise the bar with, with you know, with barbering. We're gonna, we're gonna continue to do what, what, what Federico Advance has done and just elevate the, our craft and just kind of hopefully mesh the industries together where it's been kind of like a disconnect. Hopefully we could bring the barbers in the, in the industry just, just kind of co-mingle a little bit more. I mean, I love, Federico is a beautiful place. I mean, you know, we just wanted to share the knowledge. I'm, I'm excited. I'm stoked. I don't want to take too much time. But I'm overwhelmed. This gentleman is a social media like king. So th throw out some of your social content so you guys can begin following you. I am on Instagram under The Real Barbarism. Um, I, my website is The World of Barbarism YouTube channel, which is not important because you're going to be right here with us on Federico Live. So um, yeah, those are my two main sources. Uh, my Facebook is Donald DC the Barber Conley. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty easy to find. I follow back, and um, I'm I'm always open to answer questions, and I'm always talking barbering. I really just talk here. I love talking here. So thank you, Adam, yeah. Josh. I'm looking forward to the opportunity. I'm just, it's gonna be fun. So DC is gonna take you through all aspects of barbering. You know, we're gonna see a lot of like what we call like urban style barbering, and we're gonna see a lot of what we may call uh, you know uh, contemporary Caucasian, uh, you know, rockabilly, psychobilly kind of shit. So we're gonna see a good fusion. So Got it, all. it could be your one-stop shop, yes. not like, you know, Federico Advance is only showing you like one kind of thing. So he's going to keep it well-rounded and we're excited about that. Yeah. I'm excited to have DC involved so, and get him in front of that camera. Thank you very much. So I think Josh is going to play a little snippet. Are you? Uh -oh. Are you? Is that going down? It's uh -oh. Doubt that you made me look like you know, like I was somebody. You, you should hear it. You should hear it. The music. It's even better. Oh, yeah, man. Let, me, let me hear the music. The music's crazy. The music's yeah. good. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it, man. Thank you, Adam. Cool. So we'll see you Tuesday night. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. You guys have a great night tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody who's here tonight, make sure you check out DC Tuesday night. We're gonna continually plug that because we all know barbering's huge. But let me get into the haircut. Um, so I can get you out of here and myself out of here at a respectable time this evening. So this is Anna, my lovely model. Beautiful little gingery uh, head of hair. And obviously Anna, you know, it's been probably about two months since she was uh, cropped down last. So what I'm gonna do is, um, if you look at Anna's hairline, it's very strong and it grows into the center, yeah? Um, so what I'm going to begin to do is I've got my sections kind of done. I've gotten a, a top internal section that is subdivided around the parietal of the head, subdividing the interior from the exterior. And then I take off this uh, small triangular shaped subsection that is slightly offset through the crown, which I'm going to play with with some disconnection. 
The bottom exterior in the nape, I'm gonna work just a very classic round graduated technique. Uh, I feel that a round graduated technique will work perfect with uh, the way that her hair naturally goes inward, building up some weight through that center. I'm not gonna have a heavy weight line, I'm gonna dismiss it out lightly. I'm gonna continue that technique in through to the sides, but I am going to keep out just some soft little bits right around the hairline and just kind of freehand cut those bits in. So kind of keeping it like a, uh, what we call like a full little skin bird, you know, if you will, um, bits just right there around the uh, cheekbone. And then as we get into the top, I'm gonna keep most of the length through the top other than right here in the center of the crown. I'm gonna crop this out rather short and then begin to work in kind of a concave technique. So growing into lengths as I begin to reach out to that front perimeter line. And then same thing as I begin to work into this back corner of this uh, offset triangular shape. So I'll have a shape that's gonna be shorter into this crown, growing into getting longer lengths here. The one other idea is right in the front hairline here, I may take that out rather short so she's got some soft little bits kind of falling over it. But that is the top I'm going, I've got an idea. I'm not really committing too much quite yet because once I get in there and I start cutting, I'll kind of see how the hair naturally wants to move um, and I'll work from that point out. So I'm gonna start on my right and I'm going to just scoop this hair away. And I'm gonna start right here behind the ear at the mastoid process. And I'm gonna begin working my technique through the back part of the head. Give her a little bit of water. Head position's gonna be away from me. It's gonna help me, you know, build up some weight. Making sure that I've got, you know, I'm gonna wait for Josh to yell at me, Adam, your arm's in the way, <laughs> whatever it might be. A this, very abusive re media relationship we have. This hair I'm gonna take in rather tight, so my knuckles are rather tight to the shape of the head, fingertips are further away, and begin cutting down. And I'm cutting with the scissor tonight, and I think, uh, I think uh, almost every other show I've cut primarily with the plie. So I'm doing this just to prove to myself that I still know how to cut hair with a scissor. Yeah. So I'll take my second subsection. I'm gonna over direct it down. Yeah, clean that up a little bit into that previous to help build up some of the weight. Utilizing my previous subsection is my design line or my guideline. Keeping those knuckles nice and tight into the nape and continually work a nice soft round graduated fill. Moving up and continue on. All right, so as I continue working this technique, I'll chat a little bit about what we've got coming down the uh, pipe here at Federico Advanced. We've had a few changes on the calendar so I want to keep you in the know. <clears throat> you know, on, um, let's see here, looking across the way, May 17th and 18th, we still have a gentleman by the name of Russell Mays coming in. Russell is a uh, hairdresser who is, uh, he's a Southern lad. Where's he out of uh, originally, Josh, you know? Uh, I don't know. He's got, oh, he's got a great Southern somewhere accent. South. So he's uh, somewhere South, if you like that Southern charm. But he's uh, been based out of Orange County for quite some time, he owns a salon down there and he's gonna be doing a class that's gonna be focusing on um, layering techniques. And you know, I think a lot of what I'm hearing out there, people will say, oh, I know how to layer hair, da 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 da. But you know what I see is most people know how to layer hair maybe one or two ways. And to me, that'd get rather boring if I was cutting, you know, layered hair, which is like, you know, 80 to 90% of what we do in the salon all day, every day, the same way. My job would just get boring. So. This gentleman's gonna come in with a few different techniques to hopefully change up some of your work, as well as, you know, there's a lot of insecurity in layers for some people when they're first learning or seasoned about the transition from the uh, back into the sides and how to not create a hole or a, like a little, you know, a bump or an air of inconsistency. So he's gonna really work on um, building up, you know, 
your self-confidence, if that's where you may be lacking. It's gonna be a really great class. Uh, I know that he does this class in similar parts of it, you know, at the larger trade shows. So um, like at the ISSC show down in Santa Monica, he'll have a classroom environment where he's working, you know, um, similar aspects of that class. I hear really great things about Russell. I've never, oh no, I met him actually at the ISSC show shortly. Um, but good things about that class as well. So there is some spots available still. Feel free to please pop in to Federico Advance, check that out. Um, so that's in May. In June, we had Douglas McCoy scheduled, but we just did a little change of dates. Something came up on uh, Douglas's end of the world. Um, so we had to move Douglas out to October at this point. So in June, the end of June, we have Rojo coming in and they're gonna be doing some American Waves certification classes. And we'll be doing a, it's on June 22nd. So an American Waves certification class. So it's a $350 class. You walk out of the class becoming certified in the American Wave uh, technique. You're able to buy the product from Erosio and utilize it as a point of difference between you and everyone else in your salon as far as offering a new type of service. And you know, we're seeing a lot of resurgence of texture, whether it's through natural texture or putting that texture back into the hair through the help of a chemical. So um, Erosio has been one of the main men on the forefront to kind of push this new kind of service. So he'll be back in with a few of his team. Well, Nick won't be here, but a few of his uh, chemical specialist will be here. All right. So I'm gonna move back into now <clears throat> my left side. Please feel free to comment below, uh, throw out any questions and pertaining to what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, uh, the upcoming calendar, what you'd like to see, what you don't like to see, um, anything. Uh, you could comment below. You can uh, feel free to tweet in questions, but we prefer if you just comment below, makes it really easy. Um, and you know, please subscribe and like our page, follow us. We're always putting out great content. If I th must say so myself, DC, peace man, have a great evening. Um, Quick question. Yeah. What comb are you using? This is the Sessi Bond comb through oh. Hairbrand. Yeah, yeah, right, absolutely. Uh, so comment in below, please. Like us on Facebook, Fe uh, Federico Advanced. Check out our Instagram, Federico Advanced. Check out my Instagram, Adam J. Federico. You know, check out AJSSalon.com. Uh, we just, I mean, that's where kind of all of our stuff kind of lives. Something that we do, that we just did this past Monday, we do these evenings called therapy. And, uh, kind of hosted through AJF, um, but it's kind of just grown through the time that we've been doing it. And what it's about is it's an evening of complimentary free education. And it can be, a, you know, it, it happens on all different scales. Sometimes it happens really large in our ballroom when we have some artists traveling through so we can share the stage. Um, sometimes, you know, we travel out to other salons in the area and share the message of Federico Advance. Like this last Monday, it was myself. Josh was there. I had uh, Miss Erica Verrett, who is on my AJF team, and Jessica Mischler there. They, Merrick was doing editorial styling. Um, Jessica was doing some coloring techniques, utilizing uh, some pastel -y kind of blue tones, aqua blue tones in the hair. And, um, you know, we, we share the message of Federico while just kind of sharing our culture and giving away education and helps build community. So there's pictures and some short video, time-lapse video that Josh put together of that on Federico Advanced uh, Facebook page. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So continuing on with my round graduated technique through this left side. Moving down around the 
shape of the head. Okay, that was June, July. We've got the teals coming out. Ryan, Deanna Lynn, and Tuesday Teal. We got the whole family coming out. They're gonna be doing a really cool class. That is, uh, it's a wig making class. Um, so they're gonna work with you on how to create and develop your own wigs that you can use for hair shows, photo shoots, you know, a night out on the town, whatever the hell it is you, that you may wanna use them for. So. I'm really excited. Yeah. That. Do you know anything else about that? Have you, I know that you've like worked with the Tills. Have you ever like sat in a class when they've done that? Not the wig making thing, but I'm really excited about that because like starting to do photo shoots now more and stuff. Um, it's really a way, a great way if you just, if, cause it's really hard to find like the perfect storm of model that's going to be absolutely beautiful, let you cut all their hair off and like be able to pose and model, um, that'll let you cut all their hair off. And so it's been like really fun to like with Erica that works at AJF salon. It's been a lot of fun just to be able to use like wigs and uh, just how fast you can change up the model and change up the wardrobe and get like three different photo shoots out of the same model in the same session. Um, so wigs, I'm really excited to learn how to make and work with those. So that will be going down in uh, July. What is that, July 28th? Yeah. Yes, July 28th. Uh, next one, August 17th and 18th, we've got Goldwell KMS in the house. Um, Demetrios and Sonia Brado uh, from- Demetrios who? Dem Dude. Oh, you know what? What? I was actually going to get online, see what his last name was, <laughs> and just practice pronouncing it. Oh. So it's Demetrios Demetrios for the evening again, because oh. I didn't. You shouldn't have told me yeah. that you were going to look it up. You should have just surprised just, uh, me. Oh, yeah. And watched me drop dead. What? Who knows what? his name? Um, yeah, so Demetrios will be in the house, and that's cool because Demetrios and Sonia Brado, actually, I don't know if Demetri Demetrios was uh, nominated this year for Naha. I know Sonia Brado was nominated for Contemporary Classic. They just he won last year. He won last year. You I know need, that. Do you need to win Enter again? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. If I won, how oh, many times it. would I continually do that? So, do you see the nominees this year? I did not. Mm. I see. I just saw a bunch of stuff on Facebook. I know that like uh, Jake Thompson and a lot of like their lunatic fringe people out there were nominated again. And um, you know, how about you? Do you know? But, um, I know a few people that are that are in. I looked through the categories, but I guess now that I'm into photography, I'm kind of snobby. Uh, no, it's not exciting as much for me anyway. I still think it takes a lot of talent, though. I'm not, uh, not a hater on it. Not knocking it. No, no. I just, I, 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 I'm not mentally wired for a competition. It doesn't make sense to me. What, competitions? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I entered a few, but then I decided all the mental energy that I spend into hoping I win and hoping that the judges like my stuff um, is... What are you doing, Andy? Um, <sighs> Andy came in and totally. Andy. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> no, not funny. Andy. That's why we give Andy a bad oh, time. Come and start clicking things. That, that'll be awesome. That's why we give Andy a bad time. Let me oh, let me, oh, you guys are doing a live show? Oh, let me let me start clicking on the control panel here. Yeah. That was great. Andy is the biggest little kid mm. I ever meet. Yeah, wow, just killed my vibe. I don't know, I was talking about some awesome. You know what? This show just went silent. Man, this it's gonna be like awesome. a twenties a twenties thing. Silent show tonight. I'll be in the cafe. Uh, all right. So I'm moving through, I'm just kinda checking my work, making sure that I'm balanced between the right and the left. And that's looking good. So nice little shape, tapered in now. You can definitely see the growth pattern in that back hairline and working a soft round graduated technique just really kinda complements that back hairline really well. All right, so now I'm gonna move into some of the sides. And then I'll go back in and kind of cross check this through um, once I get my sides in. 
I'm going to continue working that round graduated technique into the sides. But like Douglas I said, McCoy says hi on Twitter. What's up, Douglas? He says hi to you. Oh, not you, huh? Oh, he said hi to me. Oh, okay. What's up, Douglas? I don't want to seem like I had an ego. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Douglas, Douglas, one of the favorites that we have out. One of mine. I like real people, good, genuine, real people. So I think they all are actually that I've met so far. <laughs> so let me continue on. August, we talked about that. September, DJ Muldoon. September 29th. And then October, Douglas McCoy. We just locked him back down for dates. So uh, Douglas will be here October the 20th and the 19th, but he'll be doing a day with our students. So October the 20th, he'll be out um, doing his great brand building class as well as uh, some cutting and styling on live models with you. That's a long time away. It is a long time away. It's like forever. Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing him and drinking some limoncello, like, you know, next month. But, what are you going to do? Wow. What are you going to do? Justin <laughs> says hi on YouTube. Jess, what's up, Jess? Jess is another gentleman that I've been in conversations with about getting him out in um, early 2015. Jess would be coming out with a group of two other of his uh, barber colleagues. They're out of... Uh, Rochester? They're out of New York. Yeah, New York somewhere. Well, yeah, and they'd be doing just a ton of different types of barbering, from uh, showing you a straight edge uh, shaving to some uh, scissor cutting, clipper cutting, and I might be talking out of my ass now, because... <laughs> right, we're deciding you're... Uh, they're doing a whole day of bohawks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Still, yeah, that, no, I've been, I've been talking. Oh yeah? Yeah, I talked to him. I'm like, you should just do a full day of faux hawks. Never mind what Adam wants. Yeah, just do some faux hawks. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm lying. That's great. Yeah, I didn't I didn't book a full day of faux hawks. That would have sucked. That would suck. <laughs> that would have been horrible. Can you imagine? One of my clients came in yesterday, like he asked for the faux hawk, but then as soon as he said it, he like kind of took it back. But but not 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 really, you know. I was like, dude, I had to kind of tell him like I'm the wrong guy to be asking a faux hawk for. Yeah. Like we're not doing faux hawks, buddy. No, we don't do that. Anymore. I don't do a fucking faux hawk. How do you deal with that? Dealing with clients that want things that you don't want to give them. What's your dialogue? I give how, them. How, how do you say it nicely? You know, I think honestly, it's um, at that point, I just try to talk about, you know, where we're at with like fashion and trends today. And, you know, we try to always stay ahead of the curve and never evolve your looks. And, you know, and I try to talk about creating looks that are complementary to that individual and not putting, you know, a shitty haircut on them because their douchey friend might have it. Mm. I don't know. But that's part professional, part not. But yeah, I think it's just part of our job. It's part of our job to educate the client on, you know, where trends are, what we have left behind, and why we leave them behind. I mean, but I, you know, that was the first time in a long time I've had to have that kind of like real quick conversation. But then again, you know, my clients come in and they pay me a good amount of money for those expertise, you know, as well as um, hopefully I can cut decent hair sometimes. Sometimes if I have a good day, if I have a bad day, who knows? <laughs> so, how about you, Josh? What would you do? Me? And, yeah. Um, get the hell out of my car. Get the, oh, well, that's what I, I just give him Andy's card. Say, this guy, <laughs> he'll do it. This guy over here, they'll do it. I give him to one of the younger stylists who just like need to make more, they need to make money and hit their commissions. No. Yeah, let them do it. No, that's fucking rude. <laughs> All right, so coming back in now on this right side or left side. I used to say I don't do that type of work, yeah. but then that didn't ever get me out of it. No. No, no. sorry, I don't do that type of work. It's like you have to be shameless and make mm. money. Yeah. I find the word modern. Modern works. Yeah, I try and uh, tell them. Let's try something else because that'll make it look more modern. 
Right. And that usually snaps them out of it. Or I'll lie through my teeth and be like, you know what, that just doesn't work for your hair type. <laughs> if I don't like them though, I'll give them ugly hair. I don't care. <laughs> It's so rude to me. I have, I have no problem getting and gonna, ugly hair. And I'm gonna, don't give I'm gonna charge you twice the amount for that ugly hair. Just Sutton says, screw Fohawks, he's gonna do mullets all day. Yeah. I'm, I'm, cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Yes, I'm down for it, man. We should just call the class Art of the Mullet. Art of the Mullet. Oh. By Jess and the New York Gang. We're doing that video. We're making a video, Art of the Mullet. We're right. gonna find people and we're just gonna do like five mullets on a video. I don't even care, it's gonna be awesome. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Jess, for the idea. I don't want a mullet. Oh, look at this little hey. long hair. Oh my god, it's so hot today. It's hot and humid already, Sacramento. No, no it's the worst, the worst day to get fake hair. <laughs> it's the absolute worst day ever. We're regular viewers of the show, Katie's here, and she got fake hair today. I got weave. You got a weave today. You should have, I should have just had you cut cut the weave. Cut the weave? For the show today, Ed. Oh you man. Just cut it back up to a bob. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. Except with hair in it. No, I totally had a nightmare about that. <laughs> I, I was at a hair show once, and I'm not gonna name the company, but their models come out with long waist length hair, blonde hair, and they announced this is hair extensions that we put in their hair today, and then they cut it and all they off. cut it all off? They cut it all <laughs> off and go off. I'm like, why'd you even do that? That's rad. Just kind of for the sake of... You, you probably knew who it was because it was a company that you just worked with. That is it's in that, San Francisco. It's Nick Rosso, Tassoon, and some other guys. Oh! Hmm. You might have known that show. I think I may know that show. Yeah, probably in 2007, maybe? The extension into a bob. That was an accident, Katie, okay? <laughs> oh, did you do that? No, that no. You? 2007? Yeah? No. Six, seven, maybe eight? No, 2005. Oh, was that one of us? Yeah. Well, no, that was the end of me. No, no, I wouldn't be. No, I won't. I wouldn't have. I was still in San Diego in 2005. Yeah, that was yeah. like 2000 to 2005. Cool. So now what I'm doing is I'm coming back in on these slight diagonal forward um, subsections, and I'm coming back into where that round graduation was, and I'm just kind of beginning to take a little bit of the bulk out from these pieces just with like a really quick kind of concave technique sliding my fingers out. So taking out the bulk but keeping the softness to it. And, and rotating the chair around a little bit. This way? There, there you go. The and there. yeah. Oh, no. oh, the light. Oh, look at that. Oh man, next week. Next Maybe week. Light. Yeah, actually probably tomorrow in DC you'll get to be the first guy to break him in. Let's okay, so I found when I was first starting haircutting on women's short hair, it always seemed like the, the little sideburn areas yeah. were the toughest part. Uh, nowadays, I tend to just cut them really blunt. Like, but then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. just really, really cut them off. Um, because I never mastered uh, how to keep them soft enough, so I just said, okay, I'm going to do hard lines. Right. Because when I tried to do them soft, they just ended up really long or too soft. So what's your approach when cutting women's hair to keep it from looking masculine in that sideburn area there? Well, the first thing I'll do is, I mean, obviously assessing whatever the length is there. And if they've got a little bit of length that I think that it could <clears throat> present some softness, I'll generally do what I'm doing now is I'll pull all the weight out from behind it. So as it lays against the face, it doesn't lay too chunky. It lays just really like, kind of like PC and uh, you know, almost seamless. So I'll come back in and just over direct all the corners back up and out and just begin to take the bulk out and away. And then from that, I will come back in either with a razor or, you know, um, channel through it with my scissor and begin just to create some like space through it to keep it airy. And then more times than less, then I'll come in, I'll blunt them off because it looks like shit. Mm, no, okay. no, but that's the way I would typically approach it. I generally like pull all the weight out from behind it because you see once the weight comes from behind it, 
it instantly gets a little bit more airy. But I think it takes a certain individual to have that kind of like softness, you know, right. on the face. So I'm gonna play with it. Like I said, I'm gonna go for like a little like skin bird thing. She got a little bit of hair there if I can make it work. So I'm gonna come back up and over the shape of the head. I'm gonna kind of go in and check out the weight line, soften it up and look at the transition. So is this as low as that chair is gonna go? Yeah. Douglas. God, I love Douglas. He's going to insert clips of you cutting into his new video. That's why he's watching me screen capturing. So I'm coming up around the shape, pull it out. It's cleaning up that line and then also elevating it up and out from the way it was distributed out to. It's going to begin to soften it up and make the shape and the technique look a little bit more, you know, soft, modern. You can see that it's began to flatten it out, not keeping it so bulbous around. <laughs> okay, we'll come back in and do that to the opposing side. So what other, other mm. tips would you have for people just starting out? Because um, cutting the women's hair is pretty pretty scary. I remember it being a little scary. What, cutting women's hair? Or short, just short women's short, hair? Oh, short yeah. Women's hair, oh, okay. Yeah. I've always loved cutting short women's hair. Yeah, it's funny, like when I was starting out through school and even my... When I got out of my assistant program, I did not know how to layer hair. I was, I was one of those guys that should have been taking the Russell Mays class because I'd always create this big fucking chunk missing out, like right there at the ear. But short hair, I mean, I just kind of naturally got it, I thought. And then I started getting that like nasty reputation through beauty school and around the <laughs> salon of like, oh, don't let Adam cut your hair because he's going to cut it all off. <laughs> And it was damn true. Yeah. I was like, you look better at short hair. Cut that shit off. Um, but you know, I really just work off of like the shape of the skull uh, is what's most important and building that technique. And then secondly, like I say, assessing the hairline and the way that the hair like naturally wants to grow. I think a lot of people when they're first starting off, they may just approach like cutting crops a little too just conventional being like i'm just going to cut like a uniform or a round layered shape all over and then as they begin to hit the hairline the hairline's not you know suiting to that well it's not allowing you to put the shape in that you're wanting to see so maybe you can have a like a better understanding of all your techniques and shapes so you can create like obviously i'm talking myself into a corner here man <laughs> It's having a solid foundation of all of your shapes and techniques, you know? Um, I don't know. Okay, let me put it this way. Okay. What do you hate? To you, what's a bad short women's haircut? When you see a bad short women's haircut, what are the pieces that you look at it and go, oh, that's why it's bad? Uh, generally, when they like, cut the back out um, or graduate it out, whether it's graduated or layered out, and then they transition into the sides, leaving this way too much like length, mm -hmm. like, oh, I want dog that ears. soft as dog ears. Yeah. And I see a lot of that, you know? That's probably one of my, you know, big, big things that I see that I hate, or that they're not very, um, you know, they don't get creative around the bottom perimeter lines. And they don't like, you know, cut it in to suit that individual. They just begin like, <laughs> I cut it into a square. Yeah. Oh. I see that Yeah. Just like not know what to do with it. So it's kind of blunt. And yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, there's no way for a hairline going into a square. <laughs> if I take it up to the occipital, yeah. like right there, if, if, I, if, I, if I bring it to like right here, we might be able to get a square out of it. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> That'd be fucking horrible. All right. Whatever, Henry Rollins is awesome. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Henry Rollins. <laughs> what? What? I mean, everyone wants a Henry Rollins thing. Mm, okay. I would wear V-neck. 
Be next if I had a head of her own neck. Oh, dude. Just walk around in a very forward position to show off my neck, huge Rollins neck all the time. Be so awesome. You want, you want one of those huge Rollins necks? We do. Dude. I'm just kind of coming through and uh, cross-checking through some of this work. Flattening it out a little bit more so. Let's see if I got any corners. That out. Any comments or anything? I have a contest we're going to run tonight. What? Yeah, watch this. Do we, how many viewers do we have? Five. Okay, that's, if we had one, it would suck. Maybe. You win! One watcher? <laughs> One watcher, so maybe we'll wait until we get at least 10. Katie, do me a favor, write down a number between 1 and 10. Okay. Just, and let me know when we get to 10 viewers. If we don't, there is no contest. I like riddles. I like trivia. Do you? I'm the first one to type in the trivia. That's the person that wins. Oh. The correct answer. Oh. Yeah. Well, why don't you start one up, man? Let's let's get one out. Go ahead. What, a tri what are we giving away? Douglas says your t-shirt rules. Iron and resin, Douglas. What, what, what are we giving away? Uh, What's the contest for? Um, what are we talking? What are we gonna go? Well, I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna give away um, some combs and clips uh, and yeah. maybe a brush from Wyatt's Park. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, I, I, I have a con it's not really a contest, it's more or less a fact finding mission. Right now. People heard contest and they stopped watching. Dang! Um, it well, sucks. Well, two more, how about five viewers? If we have five viewers, we'll do a contest. What? No, we, did, we have ten. Why don't we go down? Because. Because people are dropping off like flies, man. Oh. Sucks. All right, well. It's hot. People are taking that. Right? I'd be, you know, if I was at home, I'd be drinking a beer and taking a nap. So I finally got the air conditioner. Like, I'm not sure I'm okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to come back into the bottom hairline and I'm going to take a few sections just to sit this in real, real tight. So drop your head down into the corner. Awesome. Eep. Let's see, I'm going to get in there as tight as my fat fingers will allow me. Okay, pick up another. Did you bring that video, Katie? I did. Cool. All right, for our viewing pleasures. Really? Yeah, it's like the whole video over again. That's rad. I was like, what? What a great marketing. This is our two hour video. Wait, I think that's twice. The DVD guy. Did he charge us twice? Did he charge us for I two think hours? So. I think he did. Charge us twice? What a jerk. He just looped the video so he can charge us. Wait, is it like a bootleg video of it or? Oh, to copy it? Yeah, like, and I paid like 80 bucks to do that. Dude, he totally did. Yeah, it's to our video. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. It's worth it. I now have it on the Yeah. Would you guys just get it? Mm-hmm. What's this video we're talking about? What? What's the video we're talking about? Sassoon's Raga. Sassoon's Raga. I've been itching to see this. Cool. Okay. 10 viewers! Oh, my God! <laughs> 10 viewers, okay. Okay. Con contest. Trivia. What? trivia? I want a number. Oh, oh, you're doing the number. Oh. Well, here, hey, this is All an right. easy contest. We have a number here between 1 and 10. Okay. All right. This is what I want to know. Everybody type in what city and state that you're viewing from, and whatever number Katie picked. How am I going to say this? Yeah, I don't know. You're, you're surprising me. <laughs> yeah, so whatever number Katie picked, if let's say she picked number six and you happen to be the sixth person to type it in, you win a YS Park comb, a set of two clips, 
and a Ibiza LX1 brush. No, someone will just wait to comment that. But no, you can't. Yeah. They don't know the number. Oh, okay. Yeah. So start commenting in. Give me the city to say, this is good. This goes back to the board and this solidifies what we're doing here, that we're hitting a mess. So if you live in Sacramento, please lie and tell me you're typing in from like Ireland. <laughs> Your contest sucks. That's what they're saying. Yeah. This guy sucks. Nothing. Come well, on. you know, there's a, a lag. Oh, yeah. Well, then yeah. there we go. So, maybe. Okay. So, while you guys type, I'm going to move into the top. Like I said before, I'm going to keep a lot of the length through the top, but I'm going to collapse out this um, central part of the, like, apex area, and then begin to work concave outward to the front and the back. So, with that, I'm going to work some just small horizontal subsections. Perfect, okay. Where are they cut? Where are they? Uh... Rochester, New York. St. Louis, Missouri. And Rochester, New York. Yeah. And Douglas McCoy from Spokane, Washington. Yeah. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> So I want this top to be like really loose. So I'm gonna go straight in and just begin like pointing, uh, point cutting into the shape um, just to begin to break it up. And I want to get the crown so it's short enough so as I dry it, it definitely will like kind of pop up and give me some texture, uh, a little activation up there. So what I'm doing is I'm just working a strong square shape, rather flat, utilizing the tips of those scissors. And that is a good length. And then what I'll do is I'm going to continue forward. And now I'm going to begin just working very slight over direction back to increase the length as we move towards the face. Bringing it back into the previous, my previous subsection in hand. This really loose, erratic texture. Nobody went, how many people we got? Four. So, ten. so for those of you who may have missed, type in the city, state, country, wherever you're from, into the comments below. They need a Yahoo account to do that, don't they? Or not a Yahoo, a YouTube account yeah. to even comment. Oh, maybe that's the problem. Well, then that's okay. You don't win. Yeah, sorry. Get on and create a U yeah. YouTube account real quick. Yeah. And should subscribe. Yeah. No reason not to. No reason not to. What I'm, no. what I'm trying to do is figure out where, you know, everybody's viewing in from. Okay. Working forward, increasing in length as we move into the face. This is fine. Most of the time I've been cutting like mid length hair bob hair, mid-length, and then longer hair. So something short and croppy is refreshing for me to cut in here. Katie, did you work, you work today? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Who put it in for you? Chelsea? Oh, we have one more person. Michael Taylor. Oh. We're going from Freeport, Maine. Okay, we got a lot of East Coasters, well, man. There's 14 viewers, but no one's commenting. That's interesting. Mm. Maybe they would have liked the riddle idea better. I have a riddle. Okay, riddle me this. It's a very popular riddle. Wait, so we're not doing that? No, we are. No. We're oh. still waiting. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Something's on fire. What? Something's on fire. I smell it. This is gonna be a good show. Yeah. You smell it? Yeah. Something's, something's on fire. This oh. is good. We got some excitement. We got fire. Oh, come on, keep it on. Did the light get again? We're gonna go out like champs tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, it's this one. Oh, dude, it's smoking too. Yeah. Awesome. Whoa, just got super Whoa, dark. So metal. Whew. Man, there's two lights. Can we get this one back on, or is that one smoking too? Oh, no, no, this one's fine. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Man, burnt rubber farts or something. <laughs> yeah. Stinky. Okay. So I'm taking this bottom nape area and just elevating it right up to that first subsection to retain the length as it begins to drop down. And then we'll begin to dry it and the rest of it is all gonna be dry. Ooh, cut dry. That does not smell no, awesome. No, no, it does not smell awesome. But if I use the fan, then it kills all the audio. Oh, no fan necessary. Yeah, no, let's just live in it. Live in the stench. So, cool, it's loose. That's a, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna cut something out from the front. Let's do that real quick. Okay, I feel like I don't have um, much to chat about tonight. Josh, feed me something to talk about. What are we talking about? Uh, I don't know, what do we usually talk about? Yeah, I hit like the advanced calendar. Barbering, we talked a little bit about barbering. We'll talk about that more because there's more viewers on now. We guys talk about beer and burgers. Beer and burgers? Oh, we do talk about that. We talk what? About like every episode of beer and burgers? Yeah, yeah. We talked about beer a little earlier. Um, yeah, I was talking about beer. I'm, I had a beer last night. I'm thinking about beer right now. Oh, you had a great, your employee last night. That's what uh, Josh said. I said it was wonderful. Was yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, Head back to me, please. Yeah, really quite, quite good. So, beer and burgers. Hmm. Sounds good. Burgers and brew. You been to Burgers oh, and Brew? No. You gotta we go. Tried and then there was like a thousand people. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was packed. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, I had beer last night, and the beer I guess was called Helvetian. But I thought it was called Helvetica because it was I've far away and I couldn't read it. I've seen that bear and I thought it was called Helvetica. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've it never tried Helvetica it. Or yeah. something like that? Yeah. yeah. I felt stupid. Okay. Did you order a Helvetica? Yeah, I'm one of those people where, like, if I go to a restaurant and I can't, I'll see something I really want, but if I can't pronounce it, forget about order. it. You want to be the idiot? No. Yeah, whatever. Really pretentious coffee shop workers are probably laughing at you. Yeah, I'm sure they were. You always get that with clients who come in the salon. I have to spin it back on their hair now. That they use, um, a, well, how do you know how you even say it? It's a, it's a Veda, but a Vita. A Vita. Or, yeah. or that Kerastasi, uh -huh. you know. Going, going back to talk to. Oh, Orbe is the word. Oh, yeah, how do they put it? Oribe. 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, worst, the worst is when I used to cut pretty much all men's hair, and a guy come in, and he's like, I'm like, what's up, bro? How do you want your haircut? What's up, like, bro? Um, yeah, I want one of those fox hawks. Fox hawks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great. That was awesome. You should have. You, sh you should have told me he was a fucking idiot and he had to yeah. get out of your chair. Yeah, 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 I told him I don't do that. Right. <laughs> a fox hawks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ain't nobody got time for a fox hawk. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just given him some other crazy haircut. Like, this is a fox ox. Oh, you wanted a faux hawk. No, this is a fox ox. That's probably in the English pub somewhere going back to beer. Fox ox? Yeah. yeah. Fox oh, fox the, fo the fox and the hawk. Yeah, fox mm. hawk. Beer. Mm. Mm. I love a fox hawk. Beer. What a jerk. Beer. So, so I'm going to get ready just to start um, doing a real light blow dry on this, and then we'll go in and we'll finish it up. Uh, I put in a little bit of, you know, one of my favorite products out there. Always got a plug. Oh, Reverie. Milk. Milk by Reverie. Garrett, you know, what happened? We blew something up. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. Should we announce the winner while you blow it How many people have commented in? Uh, four, five. Okay, the lucky number was number three. three. Who was number three? Nico Merritt, he came in just before Douglas mm, Tech. Mm, oh, whoa, a ton mm, of people just like came in. Oh, number was three! 
the number one. So, Nico, you win a uh, couple of combs, send you some clips, we'll send you a brush. But what I need now is a mailing address. So, if you will go on, here's the next part of it, oh, Miko. This is like choose your own adventure. You're now making you, this really easy. Now you gotta go on to Facebook, and, oh. you, and you gotta find me, Adam Federico, and message me, and uh, friend me. Or on Hairbrained, anywhere like that. And then give me your um, mailing address, and I'll send something out to you. I'll make it special and worth your while. going to be? Yeah. That's rad. Like in the back, like start with the lane. Like, oh, it's, it's down the middle of our back. Where should we take that? To our, to our shoulders? To, to our neck? Or should we crop it? Well, I think you should do that on your next one, man, next yeah. week. Uh, you know what it's going to turn out like? An A-line yeah. bob. Uh, yeah. Just using a basic wrapping technique with the uh, vest brush. Working around the shape of the head, just get a ton of body in the hair, which is great. I'll loosen it up, begin to collapse it out more so. Jacob, Jacob. How'd your uh, model turn out, Jacob? Good? Good. You like the way it smells in here? making me high, I'll tell you that. Okay. We're 
crazy disease just from the burning plastic that you've never seen before and it's untreatable and they're going to call it Federico disease. The Federico disease? Yeah. Mm. Federico syndrome. It's like the F-15. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to come back in and really begin to loosen this up more so and detail out the perimeter line and make sense of this hair that is just quite expansive. Needs a lot of weight taken out of here. A little bulk. Yeah. So coming back in, dropping those fingers down. Let's go in and do some deeper point cutting through it. It's going straight through, not really breaking the line, keeping the line, but just softening it up. Oh, Nico Merritt is, uh, is Jess's uh, co-worker. Oh, yeah. awesome. Perfect. Rochester, New York. Yeah. All right. Oh, that makes sense. I'm like, Rochester, New York. Uh, Rochester. Then give me your address, my friend. Is there anything specific that he would like? Combs, clips. Color preferences. Oh, I color, color preferences. Oh, I asked. You give these, purple. you give these barber guys an inch, man. I'm gonna take a mile. All right. Yeah. This, this is great, guys. What we're doing is we're depleting some brown brushes. <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> no, we're depleting out our hot pink inventory. Mm, no, yeah. No. yeah. Okay, point cutting through it just to begin to really lighten this up. Now I'm just thinking about beer, beer and burgers. <laughs> I'm like hungry. I want a beer. You're gonna call this haircut the IPA. This is the IPA. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, the IPA bacon burger haircut. That's good. So definitely beginning to collapse the shape out a little bit. It's laying a little bit tighter to the head. Come back in. Continue this through. So you came in yesterday with what color hair? Was it pink? Pink. Yeah? Does it look pinky on the camera? Does it look gingery? Ginger. Gingery? Yeah, okay, right. yeah. Good. You were faded out like red, 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 red. That yeah. wound up pinky, huh? Mm hmm Yeah. Anna was one of our models for our show that we did back in, oh, early March. And I think that was the last time you had it cut, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Head back to me. Perfect. I'm really looking forward to the 2015 year of Federico Advance. I can tell you some of the names that we have a in regards to who we'd like to see coming in house. And um, next year we're gonna do it a little less frequent. Like right now we're working on bringing in people every month. Uh, next year we'll be bringing in people every couple of months and we're gonna offset it with uh, some of our own in-house education through um, you know, the team AJF and then Josh is gonna get involved on you know, some editorial type of styling classes and you know, shooting your work and how to find good models and you know what makes a a good shot or good shoot josh could probably talk a little bit about that that's going to be headed by erica who's on my team i'll be doing some razor cutting classes some scissor cutting classes and so forth but above and beyond that you know some of the names that we have uh on the list is you know uh jess out of rochester who's viewing this evening with uh, his team doing some barbering um we have, you know, I've got the idea of reaching out to, we've talked about like Stacy Broughton, getting him for a couple of days out here. I would like to see uh, Richard Ashforth from Seiko out here. Um, 
Who else has been? Um, Charlie Thomas. Price. Charlie Price. Where did I get Thomas from? I don't know. He's not watching. <laughs> and neither is Demetrius. He might be. And neither is Demetrius. Well, they're both going to come out here and I'm going to get like knocked in my nose from both of them <laughs> for fucking... Yeah, so you're the guy who's turning in our names. Whatever, dude. You can call me Adam. That's what they sound like, too. Adam Frederico, whatever the hell. <laughs> I always get Frederico. You always get Frederico? Frederico. You're like, dude, do you see the R before the E? Because I don't. All right. Nico Merrick said yellow, black, or gray combs. Yellow, black, or gray. You got it, buddy. I want the riddle, man. Who's going to give me the riddle? Wait, we're, we're doing another giveaway? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, well, I don't know if you want to do this. A lot of people, I don't know if people are like, oh, nobody's, are people already in that together? Here. Well, there's Google. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah. I can't do a popular one. Though. That makes it like, yeah, Riddle's super easy anymore with Google. I love my favorite one, though. What is it? Wait, did you say your model's name? Anna. Oh. Well, that was going to be the riddle. <laughs> I did earlier, though. I introduced her first off. Well, yeah, off. I know. You did earlier, so that would have rewarded the people that were paying attention. Oh. Uh, yeah. But, ruined that. I just ruined that. Just ruined Leave that. it to Adam. All right, now I'm gonna work on some perimeter work. A little perimeter work. Let's see where I can take this thing, because, oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Here's some nice color variations for me to work through down here. Just follow that natural hairline around with the tips of the scissor. Just take this off and out. And then I'll clean this bit up. The barbers are like, get out your straight edge and, you know, <laughs> and I'm about to actually. Next time we'll just next time we'll just make uh, DC stick around the whole time. <laughs> yeah, DC, so it's your turn, buddy. We'll make him clean up your hairline for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is DC. He's our hairline specialist. Right. <laughs> yeah. He specializes in hairlines. Hi, welcome to the hairline bar. The hairline bar. Okay. Yeah, I love it, dude. Hi, we no, sorry, we just do hairlines here. Um, we don't actually cut hair, we just do hairlines. You know, if I would have used a razor, I could have been done ten times already. Really? No, I'm just fucking around. Mm. Yeah. I got some tremors. You know, I mean, with the entire haircut. Oh, okay. No. Well, I got some tremors. That smell is like... Like candy. Head to the left. I'm wasted. Wow, no guard. the old Italian barber blood. I'm scared. The barbers are like, you're doing it all wrong. Trust me. Okay, now I come back in. All right, so. 
continue up and around this hairline. I'll tighten this up a bit. Do that. Black and white. Black and white. Oh, thanks. There. Oh, look at that. Now hey, I can even look. see what I'm doing. What are you doing? Just trying to make your life easier, dog. That's great. Tips of the scissor. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm like your nicest employee. Really nice. Get that guy. nice and tight. I really like her hair color. Her hair color? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a uh, good old. Um, good old someone. Good old Tiffany. <laughs> good old Tiffany. Huh, Tiffany did your color, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I got a. Got good her. old Tiffany. Good I think she's girl. like 65. Right? Good old Tiff, you oh, know. Uh, old girl. Old that girl good old girl. girl. Oh, she might be. Yeah, you can you can tip her with Geritol. It's great. Geritol? Yeah. What the fuck is Geritol? What is that? She's a good old Tiffany. You can tip her with prune juice. Oh my god. A bottle of Ben Gay, that's tip enough for her. Dude. <laughs> This is what you have no <laughs> This is exactly what uh, I have uh, Okay. All right. Now let's work these front bits. Get this around the ear. Okay, now I want to keep the point and I'm just going to kind of work, I'm going to work, keep that. So where that mirror would come into place if I had it in here. Oh fuck it, whatever. All right. Um, I need something to yap about. Mm. I'm just getting lost in my head, man. Well, well, Let's see. What are you doing with the hairline? Uh, yeah, it's always good to talk about. So it's working around the hairline with my tips. I'm just kind of uh, framing in what her natural hairline is. Not really cutting in to the hairline in the front little bits I was, but right now I'm just kind of working just the natural curvature shape. And then everything that's sitting just like on top of the ear here, coming back behind it, the blades open, and then just soft little channels down just to keep it really soft and a really like, you know, smooth transition just to open up the ear. Come back here and just kind of create a little bit of space, take out some of that bulk. And there. And then I'm going to come back, identify my length, which is here, and then open it back up. And I'm just kind of what I'm doing is following the back end of that cheekbone. And at this point, I begin cutting into some of that hairline, really losing the length, but keeping it still soft onto the face. Mm 
Okay, now I'm gonna come back into the front fringe, take that out. So you go head back a little bit, perfect. Taking the length away from behind it, so I can keep that. And kind of continuing it on through. I'm going to take this really nice and short, but keep it PC. in on it, head to the left, to remove a little bit of the bulk out from just behind it, just a little channel through it, a little bit. Uh, just, you know, at this point it's just a lot of really like kind of detail, and I think this is the part that, you know, people are, when they're beginning to cut short hair that they may not, you know, so it may scare them off. This is the fun part. This is like what you get to tweak out on. And this is what makes the haircut less really individual to this person, you know? And, you know, some of those things. All the earlier parts of the haircut were just really strong techniques, you know, based off of, you know, creating different shapes in different areas of the head that anybody can do, you know? Um, but it's the finishing part of it that really kind of puts that stamp on the haircut and makes it yours. Um, and it's very important. And it's important that you do these types of little interesting techniques, not to like show off to your client, like, wow, look at all these different little tricks I can do. But the client notices like your skill level at that point and understands, you know, that's what makes, you know, your haircut that you're putting on them, theirs and yours because it'd be impossible for somebody to come back in and replicate the different little bits that I've done. They might do something similar, but it's one of those things why I like cutting with the razor because it's interesting when you teach a razor cutting class, you cut a razor bob, but they're all gonna look so different because of the amount of pressure that each individual is going to put onto the razor opposed to the next person. Um, and that's, you know, can really change the end result of the haircut. It's the pressure and the stroke and how open and close that stroke may be with the razor. So there's a lot of individualism when it comes into cutting with the razor. There's a shitload of discipline that comes in as well. Spin you around a little bit. You doing okay down there? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. So now I'm coming back in to that top disconnected area where the length is in the front and just really opening it up to keep it airy. I haven't done too much into this area as far as like cutting into it. So I want it to begin to sit over, give me a little bit of length, but for it to be soft. And you can tell when I blow dried her hair, like I didn't like, I wrapped it quickly with the um, best brush, but I didn't like pull all the body or straighten out the hair completely. She has some nice natural wave. Cause when I get done with it, I'll put in a little bit of product that has a little moisture to it to encourage some of that wave pattern to come back in. So it stays that much softer. North Shore, uh, North Shore 45 says, awesome haircut. What's up, and buddy? And Jess Sutton says, I am going to get working on those mullet ho hawks. Dude, seriously, Jess, you better come in and represent with mullet hawks. Be like, this is what these guys talked about, you know, eight months ago. We've got it on video. They were very popular in the MySpace days. Yeah. A Mohawk. 
Does that go with that, um, what the, what was that name? It? Sass punk? Sass punk? No. <laughs> no. Sass punk. Well, no, but hey, what kind of haircuts were those guys wearing? Like, short parted, nerd cuts. Oh, dude, I fucking, yeah. That's, yeah, full cut. There's so many buddies that were like... Sassy punks? Sassy punks. Yeah. Emo core, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Emo core. Mm. Oh, the guy, like, like who? The singer from Refuse. Oh yeah, yeah. The whole band had a I wanted to look like the singer from Refused. I wanted to be the singer from Refused. Did you? Yes. We flew to Chicago just to see them. Just to see them. They were amazing. Dude, never saw Refuse, man. Oh, yeah. Noise conspiracy, but no Refuse. Yeah. I mean, noise conspiracy was no Refuse, though. They're good, but no Refuse. Josh forced us to go to a bar after, and we met them, and he was so excited to like, see himself. So it was awesome. Who? Josh, we met Refuse. Oh, really? Yeah, I got my picture with a, a Polaroid. All our phones were dead. We're in this little bar, and they come walking in, and all our phones are dead, so we can't take a picture. And then this this little, little what the guy what in. the fuck are they doing in a bar first off? I don't know, they're hanging out after the show. Yeah. And then drinking. Yeah, drinking. Oh, yeah. duels. So they were never straight edge. Yeah, oh, was what? Edge. Dennis likes him. He was like a big like straight edge vegan dude. I thought no. I don't think they were straight edge. No. So anyways, all our phones are dead, and I need my picture taken with them. And I need my picture. I need again. my picture with them. And then walks in this little guy going, pictures, five bucks. And he's like one of those little Polaroid guys. No way. Yeah. And he came in right as they were about to leave. And I'm like, you come here now. So I have a Polaroid picture with the guys from Refuse. You literally told him, you come here now. Yeah. <laughs> did you really? He did. Summoning him, man. You come here. He thought he was going to be your, like, you know. Cool. <laughs> Personal pal, paparazzi. Uh, but they, um, the singer still had great hair. It was a blonde bowl cut, but it was pretty cut. Bah, you had a bleached up blonde? It was like his natural color. Oh, that dirty. dirty. Yeah. A little dirty. And quite a bit thinner. Mm -hmm. It's still adorable. Thinner? Are you gaining some weight? No, no, it was his, his hair. Oh. Stringy. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Okay, so now I'm coming back up and underneath all that round graduation using the tips of the scissor, just doing a little scissor over comb, but just breaking up the lines, kind of blending in the color variations that were different. The deeper, uh, the underneath perimeter is a little deeper and richer of a copper, and then it began to get a little bit more um, vacant and ha um, hollow where she had some pre existing highlights. So. Even though this is disconnected, like I said, I want everything to sit this really like clean and seamless. So that's with the color variation as well as um, the weight and the way the weight is sitting. Now we have to yell at old Tiffany for, for having color variation. Do you, do you think Tiffany could have heard of, of a filler? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know it's like put a filler on the hair, yeah. Tiff. Thanks. Yeah. Just playing around. Yeah. Thanks, old. These dude. guys are gonna never like prep my colors for me ever again. Yeah, you're an never. asshole. Who was it last no, time? I, I was saying was, you're you're gonna have to yell at her because she's old yeah. Tiffany. Old Tiffany. Doesn't hear <laughs> it was Jessica last time who left color stains everywhere on my oh, yeah. on my model. Remember? Oh, yeah. yeah, dude, all down the back of the neck. Oh. It was embarrassing. Embarrassing. That's the way we do it. I like the color variations on that. Yeah. It looks intentional. Old. Old. Like, old. like fucking old yeller. Yeah. She she is kind of old. Yeah. Guess how old she is. Thirty. Yeah. How'd you know? Because I know everything. Yeah. Oh, did she? <laughs> and she told me. Wow, you just added her from the old closet. She's in her 30s. Wait, she's in her 30s? 
No, she's like 30. She's 30. Yeah. How old am I? Well, I just saw this on Facebook. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I thought everyone, I thought every, all the girls in my salon were like 26. Oh my, they're all, they're all older. Yeah. Yes. How old are they? I know Carrie's like 39, 40 almost. She's probably 40. She's like Dorian Gray. Who's, who's Dorian Gray? A vampire. Oh. She never gets old. I'm looking at the um, screen thinking that there's a mirror. Okay, so just breaking it up, breaking it up, breaking it up. So for those of you who checked in late, uh, big things going on Federico Advance. We got Federico Barber Night Live starting this Tuesday, every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mr. DC Donald Connolly is going to be hosting it and he's going to take you through the uh, wonderful world Don of Don Con. I just realized that Duncan. That's why he goes by DC, man. No, Duncan's better. <laughs> you go ahead and you call him Duncan. I you know how it goes. Yeah, you're gonna get what Demetrios is gonna give to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's gonna be doing uh, Barber Night Live, which will be a, a fusion of you know uh, classic barbering, urban barbering, and some really kind of contemporary, modern men's barbering. You know, we're seeing a lot of lately, so. That'll begin this Tuesday and every Tuesday from uh, 6 to 7. Catch it here on Federico Advanced YouTube and leave really nasty comments. Will Carrie be teaching how to shave? Carrie will be doing a shaving. Um, yeah. If we can get her, wow. we've got to like get her to like, you know, give her a couple of smile and talk and be sweet. Hopefully Carrie's not watching this. I'm just like fucking sinking my boat tonight. <laughs> Anna's hair is what we would call Data? Yes. <laughs> fluffy. Poofy. It is just like puffy. So just making sure that you pull as much of that bulk and weight out of there. <laughs> This is why um, hygiene is very important, being a hairstylist. Armpits in your clients' faces. I hear they tip extra for that. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, I had a girl. I had a girl one time. No names mentioned here, but I had to talk to her about that because she just was like, I don't wear deodorant. And I was just, you, you, do now. you stink. <laughs> like, you want to work here, you've got to put on some deodorant because you're humming. If I can smell you, I can only imagine your clients. Worked with a guy like that once. The worst. I was in a band with a guy like that once. On tour? Yeah. And, and imagine, you know, you're in a band. You know tiny little practice rooms. Oh, dude. Yeah, can you imagine that? And he was the drummer. Oh, dude. So he was the one that sweated the most. The most. Ugh. What'd you guys do? Did you kick him out just on principle alone? Well, we did kick him out. Yeah. But that was probably the main reason, but we used the excuse that he wasn't a good drummer either. A drummer will make or break your band, too. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, he yeah. was one of those drummers, and we didn't actually realize until we recorded. He was one of the, well, we kind of realized, but it was really apparent when we recorded. He was one of those drummers that will hit, like, if it's 4 4 time, He'll hit on, he'll hit the hi-hat on one and one end, but then not hit it on two, and then go back on two end. So it's, yeah. What the, that's crazy. 
Yeah, yeah. You just see drummers like that. It's a very metal drummer thing to do. Yeah. Mm. Huh. That looks amazing. Let's see what we can do here. more snips and then a little bit of product and we'll finish her up. Hi Brie. Oh, yeah. Brie, come sing us a song. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> Yankee. No? No. Right. Oh, so I'm buying Josh. He doesn't know this yet. Through some uh, rewards points, we're going to get a monitor, flat screen. Really? Yeah. <coughs> I got to check and make sure of my points. I got to use my points, make sure we've got enough. Because thank you to Cal. Thank you to Cal. Oh, yeah. Their reward points. They have some Salon Alliance points. We were, ta we were talking about that. You can use that for... They've got like crazy stuff you can use it on. Really? Yeah, I could buy a refrigerator with it. Yeah. Talking about like, you know, rewards points that you accumulate through wow. working with your manufacturers. Yeah. Dude, like seriously, I can buy computers, I can buy like iPods, iPads, really? MacBooks, refrigerators. That's like the best rewards program ever. Washer and dryer. I, was, I heard the story about how the salon owner, his washer and dryer went out and then he used the reward points and they had a washer and dryer at the salon the next day. No way. Because they like came through Sears or something, but yeah. Yeah, man. That's awesome. That's pretty rad. Yeah. Right? Bag of tricks, here we go. A little pomade or something like that. Mm. Oh, it's There's a couple tricks in there for later. So I got a bag of burgers and beer. She telling me. That your next show, I'm just gonna get a. I'm at the barber shop live. I'm gonna come in here and post up with a big like 22 of a really nice beer, and just watch and talk shit. That'd be great. Yeah. Just beat, just beat the commoners. Yeah. <laughs> Just be rude and horrible and insulting before they can even comment. Barbers are brutal, man. Barbers? The, br the bruto. Bye, Brie. Bye, Brie. Bye. Okay, so finishing it up with a little pomade and a little bit of dry spray, guys. I like it. And uh, a little bit more pomade to kind of piece it out. Yeah. Hey man, I thought you were talking about her back. I was like, thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get a shirt. And on the back, it's gonna say, fuck you, Josh. <laughs> you're gonna turn you my back. Don't fucking, <laughs> fucking right. So I was kind of pushing her around, and you know, 
A um, little, uh, little pomade through there, and I just want to see that the hair has enough like internal texture to support itself. You know, really, I think um, for me, what makes a really good like haircut that you're putting texture in is that you don't need product to make it support itself. You should be able to kind of come up and underneath it and to push it on end, and it should have enough like short to long, irregular irregularities within it that it can kind of like support itself momentarily. But then, you know, I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of product just for the memory aspect. So. If she were to head outside and hit and get hit by like, you know, a windstorm or something that would, I'm sorry, that was rude. And it's like, <laughs> no, I apologize. A little bit of weight. There, there, something needs to happen here. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's good. It's there. Okay. All right. Blow off the face. So things I'm looking at as I finish this up, I'm looking at the, uh, you know, I'm a big person for a profile. So I'm looking at the profile shape, making sure that it's really nice and round through the um, crown area, just behind the apex. And then as it begins to like dissipate away around the occipital that we've got like a really nice silhouette, which if I get out of the hair. So if that's like standing on end, but in the same right, standing on end, I know if I were to drag this down and push it down, that there's definitely enough length there to create that nice, um, you know, Josh, you like to refer to it as a question mark shape, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Profiles are huge. I kind of like flip out over profiles more than, you know, the front of the hair, the back of the hair, especially when I'm showing clients. Because um, I think a lot of hairdressers really overlook creating strong, like, silhouettes. back one last time there and then a little dry spray and the reason I use a dry spray is because the pomade had a little bit of a, um, an oil to it so this will just kind of set it in giving me like the memory and the structure of the pomade but um, it'll absorb the oil because it's got some cornstarch to it So lastly, yeah. lastly, yeah, I'll have you um, come up for me? Fuck. Seriously, man, I'm gonna keep saying it. One day I'm gonna go into the doctors and I'm gonna be diagnosed with lung cancer and I'm gonna blame it because of all this fucking aerosol shit that you <laughs> breathe. I just always like to get a little eye line perspective on it. And a quick recap. So we worked, um, starting out just behind the mastoid, I worked a really just classic round graduated technique between the left and the right. Uh, she has this really strong, thanks man, hairline that were growing inward, so I was just kind of playing off that hairline. And then as I began to encroach into the front, I began to continue that round graduation technique 
through the first bit or just like the second bit of uh, just off the hairline and I kept these bits lightly disconnected and then did a really quick little concave layering through them to collapse the weight out but to keep the length. Um, and then into the crown or the interior, I'm sorry, uh, it was kind of just a parietal ridge section and then I had a light offset triangular shape through the background where I've got this little point that's kind of coming out. You can see how that triangular shape was sitting kind of like over here. And I began just to work a concave technique going short to long, shorter from the uh, interior of the um, apex here, getting longer into my perimeter lengths and then short to long back up and out. And then just cut all that with the points of the shear did a really quick kind of like flat wrap blow dry and then began coming back up and underneath it, point cutting out through it more, redefining my perimeter lines and lengths, came back in with some pomade, push it around, um, front hairline, it's just kind of very freehand, cutting around it, opening it up, keeping it so it's chunky and just kind of erratic. So it's got some strong geometry through the bottom lines and then just a lot of really loose kind of you know, internal disconnection and texture through um, the top. So, you know, it can be worn rather classic. If she were to blow dry it and wrap it, it'll fall into a really pure shape or she can put some pomade into it and, uh, you know, get some, definitely some exaggerated textures out of it. So, cool. Um, that camera is facing me the whole time. Where was it? Is it looking at her? No, 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 no. It's yeah, it's There we go, okay. Yeah. Cool, so um, there we go. So wrapping up this week of uh, Federico Live, remind you on Tuesday night, uh, 6 p.m. DC, Federico Barber Night Live starting this coming Tuesday, May 6th, um, and every Tuesday. Catch Josh with Weapon of Choice next Thursday. That will be the uh, second Thursday of the month, and he'll be back in on the fourth Thursday, and I'll be back in on the third Thursday. So we rotate out every Thursdays. Um, subscribe. Like us, comment below on Federico Advanced YouTube. Check out Federico Advanced Facebook. Follow us there to keep in the know of you know what's coming down the pipe at Federico. We've got a great line of uh, or a great list of advanced education coming up. So thank you very much. I wish you all a great evening. We're gonna take a couple still photos of you. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, peace. Boom.